Texas Hunter Award, April 11th. Giving you a morning weather update. Got a couple of chances for uh, severe storms, mainly uh, Thursday, but uh, could have a little bit of uh, rainfall on Tuesday as well. Let's go ahead and turn around to my screen. I'd like to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services, CP Crews and Company, as I get to my main screen. CP Crews and Company, Time to Travel, and Lester Farm Bureau Insurance. Uh, got a new mic set up. You might notice uh, just trying to make little improvements along the way as I can. In the low 40s, I actually had a little frost at my house along the river this morning. But uh, partly cloudy skies, that'll burn off here around western North Carolina today. Looking at the Grimes Tice Anderson camera live, beautiful views around western North Carolina. Banner Elk.com live camera as well, looking out at Grandfather Mountain and the whole Banner Elk community. Still a little snow on the rooftops there, as you can see. Uh, some locations got, uh, even down in the valleys, got accumulating snowfall. I got about a half inch at my house, I would say. You can go repro graphics camera over here. Thought we might be able to see some balloons. I saw them up on uh, my way in, but beautiful Mount Pisgah there as well. All of that Riverside community just checking in on the plants and the house that we're turning over this week to one of our customers. Haywood uh, Farm Bureau insurance camera as well. And uh, got a couple cameras that have been down. We're <clears throat> waiting on uh, to get those fixed. Look at that car going by. The old Tommy car um, on the Cabbage Rose camera up in Maggie Valley. But uh, we'll get those cameras fixed for you as soon as possible. And we've got another one, a, uh, a Fletcher camera that's coming in as I uh, show you the country fields. But uh, we'll get that Lynn Freeman Bush downtown Hendersonville camera back up for you folks. And uh, the Brevard TJ Hooper nationwide camera as well. But just a beautiful morning around western North Carolina. That's what we're going to be looking at here for uh, the next day or so uh tomorrow afternoon uh i'll show you we've got some storms that'll be moving through just kind of a weak front and uh i don't really think that those will affect too much of your day but uh you know bringing rainfall and uh you know here this model shows a few scattered showers even this afternoon as well um, this is the NAM 3KM, but here's this line that I'm thinking about. It's going to come through and uh, kind of be intermittent showers for tomorrow morning, but clear up by tomorrow evening, and uh, sunset should be nice. Uh, but just intermittent showers, uh, another little weak front's going to come through, it looks like, on uh, Wednesday. So uh, the chance of rain will be there through uh, most of the day all uh all throughout the day in, in my opinion on uh, Thursday until you get into those uh, you know three four o'clock and then Wednesday it also looks like rainfall will be in uh, in the forecast as well but the main front that I'm watching uh, as far as severe threat is uh, what will be arriving on Thursday so let's go ahead pull this I'm gonna pull the European model out just a little bit farther and uh, we'll do the forecast loop on it as well. You can see that's the showers on Tuesday. And then here's a little bit stronger line that affects us Tuesday, probably noonish or so, I'm thinking. And uh, then kind of pushes through uh, as the day progresses. And then there's a little bit, a bit of redevelopment that occurs over here in the Piedmont. So. Got to watch this for Western North Carolina. I think our next severe threat, main severe threat, is going to be Thursday. Uh, a slight chance for severe, uh, maybe a thunderstorm or so tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. But really thinking that uh, that line on Thursday is the main line to be concerned about. So, you know, as far as weather this week, um, you know, somewhat decent with the chance of showers each day but it's not a washout each day and so I'd continue any outdoor activities that I had planned and just kind of plan to mitigate the rainfall if it does occur and then moving forward you know we're looking at getting a little bit cooler as well let me show you what the models run out here at the very end 
we're getting in the 70s each day and then gosh the 30s return so the end of this model the end of the uh, the European model is turning back cold so I think that will feel like spring for a good bit now you can look at these temperatures 60s and 70s all each afternoon so this weekend you know Saturday looks like we could get 63 or 73 uh, 80 down in Hickory Wow so a real nice day on uh, for that uh, Easter Saturday and then looking at Easter Sunday as well 76 a, uh, a real oh, I'm sorry that's Monday um, I was yesterday so 72 on uh, on sat on Sunday so really nice day around Western North Carolina a nice day along uh, all of the portions of uh, the beach if you're headed to the coast uh, like I am for Easter it should be very nice days uh, show you Friday as well because uh, I'll be down there on Friday as well Friday looks to be in the 70s and 80s another see we're just switching into those spring days look to see lots of the lots of trees leaf out this week uh, things will really get going uh, across western North Carolina as far as tree leaf uh, foliage so look for that as well um, let's compare all this with the GFS I like to at least show you guys kind of two different models to interpret with but uh, you know similar temperatures this weekend and uh, somewhat of a uh, not a not a cold week because look to tomorrow and today we're looked to get in the 70s and uh, you know as the as the week progresses though looks to be like Thursday could be a uh, a little bit cooler as the, as that front moves through you can see we don't really get out of the 60s and then the front comes through and uh, getting into the upper 40s but nothing too crazy as uh, you can see the highs on Friday let's see Friday at 5 p.m. 63 so showing a little bit cooler compared to the European model but uh, Sunday showing similar temperatures in the 70s around uh, Asheville that'll be very nice getting outside upper 60s on Sunday as well so showing similar temperatures at the beach let's kind of look at the precipitation as well here and we'll see how this runs out agrees with uh, the Tuesday morning showers but uh, dissipates and then we've got that Thursday front not nearly as strong with that kind of dissipates as it gets to the mountains the timing on this is uh, is not ideal for severe weather so I think it's mainly just a rainfall uh, event and uh, you know we could get dry again folks um, you know wildfire potential will be there as that high pressure builds in over the weekend so uh, just be mindful if you needed to burn anything get it burned yesterday or today you know try to hold off on those if you can uh, as the weekend progresses and into the weekend it looks like we'll have a stronger front that comes through on Monday of next week with significantly more rain so uh, if you can hold off uh, burning uh, that would likely help stop the wildfires that uh, have been have been manifesting themselves We did get some rainfall. We got some snow in those higher elevation locations So that will help as well, but uh, just be mindful of that when you do uh, strike those leaves up and uh, decide to build a fire so a week coming up that is not too eventful for weather I'm thinking Tuesday morning rainfall uh, Thursday morning rainfall as well and then uh, temperatures in the mid 60s to uh, 70s around Western North Carolina and then a great weekend so uh, check back soon I'll have another update for you really appreciate you joining me